Welcome to Tech Wizards with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn uh, about Azure Data Explorer cluster, and uh, then we are going to create a database in ADX. Uh, then finally, we'll be creating a table and ingest uh, some uh, data into it. Uh, now, in just uh, table and just data not database so uh, what we are going to do at the end we will be writing kusto query to extract the data so i will show you how to use kusto to get the data from the table so this is very basic functionality i'm going to show you why i'm performing this demo because uh, i need to use the uh, azure data explorer uh, activity in the azure data factory data tutorial i'm building so this is part of that so i can show you how to create the azure data explorer how to read the data from there by using Azure Data Factory, but uh, that will be in ne my next video. In this video, we are going to perform only these tasks. Um, so, uh, if you are just looking for Azure Data Explorer cluster, how to create, and all that, you can get some basic information from this video. Now, let's go to the uh, Azure portal, and uh, here is the definition I have Azure Data Explorer and also pricing part of it. So, Azure Data Explorer cluster is a pair of uh, engine and data management clusters. Uh, which uses several Azure resources uh, such as uh, uh, Azure Linux VMs and storage, uh, the applicable VMs, uh, Azure uh, storage, Azure networking, and Azure load balancer costs uh, are billed directly to the customer subscription. Uh, so here, Azure Data Explorer clusters are billed on per minute basis. Uh, Azure Data Explorer charges you for each VM in the cluster as well as Azure Data Explorer markup for markup for some components of the cluster. Azure Data Explorer markup is a potential to the number of the VMs core running in the engine cluster. Now let's go to the picture here. You can see this uh, Azure Data uh, Explorer that can be used to ingest data from many different type of uh, sources. Uh, so you can see tons of uh, uh, connectors here, and uh, you know whatever you need, maybe uh, you can connect to it, and then uh, this engine is there. You can write your Kusto query. It's going to search your uh, uh, all the data and provide you the results. So it's a very powerful. Uh, actually, I'm uh, uh, writing uh, a complete Kusto query tutorial tutorial on uh, which I'm working. I'm, uh, I'm kind of uh, going through all those Kusto query for myself to learn it, and then I'm going to create a complete video tutorial for you guys. So uh, stay tuned, watch for that too. So here is a basic structure, how it is look like, and uh, then. Uh, uh, you can uh, once the data is ingested here, you can always go ahead and write a query to bring the data into different form, chart, time series, and tons of other features are there. So here we are in the portal, and uh, we are looking for Azure Data Explorer. Uh, you can type here Azure Data Explorer. So sorry. So once you do that, you are gonna look for something like this: Azure Data Explorer clusters. Click right there. And here is a quick definition as well, what you can do with this, uh, but uh, as we already have read the whole definition there, so we are good. Uh, first of all, you will be selecting your subscription and then the resource group, uh, and then uh, you will be selecting uh, your uh, cluster name. Uh, so this cluster name is available. So we can uh, ADX, we can put that uh, at the end. So TechRadios ADX is our cluster name, it's in ECUS. Enable performance update engine v3. So if you are really worried about the performance and all that, you can read and take a look and choose from there. Now, if you don't want to use it, fine. In my case, I'm fine. I don't have to do a whole lot of things. And here you are going to be computer specification. So there are tons of uh, computer types available. Okay, for dev test, storage optimization, compute optimization, heavy compute, and isolated computer. Honestly, I do not know the definition of all of them, but from the names, you can tell what exactly they do. So if you want to uh, further research on this one, go ahead and do it. In my case, I'm going to go for dev and test because uh, I just want to use for uh, development and testing purpose uh, where I can load the data to the Azure uh, Data Explorer cluster uh, from my Azure Data Factory and all. Now here compute specification, you can um, have uh, all different uh, specifications. In my case, I don't care about no SLS standard E2 V4. Uh, it's going to be dev you know so normal availability zones uh, so your option you have to specify availability zone in which to de deploy your cluster in my case i don't really care you know so uh, i can leave this as it is or i can select one of the zone and uh, then uh, i can go to the scale here you can manually scale or optimize the scale is available uh, instance count you have right there you can increase so you can read all the details here in my um, uh, my demo i'm going to leave everything as it is you know uh, virtual networks uh, I'm not doing that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and create here 
and a very basic uh, configuration I selected so as I said that this is the demo I'm creating uh, what I'm using uh, because I need to have this uh, Azure Data Explorer for my Azure Data Factory tutorial um, so if you want to read more details uh, in the uh, scale configuration security and all that I will suggest you spend some time and learn about it uh, okay let's create and then now we are all good here hit create now it is submitting a deployment submitting deployment uh, template for resource group uh, tech brothers rg and uh, then uh, i'm going to wait here for a couple of seconds here and then it should be creating and then uh, i'm going to let it create so you guys can see right there uh, submitting deployment so it's working we can go right there your unsaved changes will be discorded okay we are going to be just cancel this out so i'm going to wait for it okay so the deployment is in progress now and we are good it's going to take some time uh, while it will create this uh, cluster for us uh, so let's wait and uh, I'll, i will join you guys back here finally our cluster is ready and uh, let's go to the resource uh, and uh, here we should see some information um, so that's where our cluster is and uh, its uh, state is running and uh, that's a uri and uh, that we can use uh, to connect and all that and uh, here is our data ingestion uri so if we need to ingest the data we can use this guy uh, right there so this is information now uh, that's a resource group and uh, here we have some more information such as getting started so it is asking you hey you want to create some database so now cluster is ready so we would like to create a database so, so we can create table and ingest some data now here is a in data ingest ingestion uh, uh, kind of wizard that you can use to ingest the data from different sources such as a blob storage or other uh, different sources now it is uh, not highlighted as of now because there is no database here so we can go ahead and create a database and here I'm going to give the name to the database called the tech brothers DB so that's the name of my database and here retention period you can define time span that data is available to query measure since ingestion time so it is 365 days if you want to keep it for a long time you can do it and here is the cache period in days so you can select a time span that remains in the hard cache in the local ssd so if you want to worry about performance and all that then you can put for number of days the data in the a cache okay so unlimited days for cache period so you if you want to click there you are going to be fine there my, my in my case it's not uh, going to be big deal uh, because uh, i will be uh, having a small table you know with the 20 rows uh. so let's go ahead and create uh, this database so our finally database is ready and uh, now we can go to database right here and once we are in database we are going to see the size of the database retention period cached or cache period and uh, database uh, kind read write and uh, shared with the others so we have not shared with anybody as of now so we are good here click on uh, the database and uh, now you have uh, a few things to do we can uh, go ahead and write a query so i'm going to click on query and it's uh, going to give me some uh, window where i can go ahead and uh, write my query so here is my list of the databases whatever the databases i will have it here i have only tech browsers database uh, and uh, I can expand a little bit to see the full name and now we can create uh, some table so I believe it says uh, you can uh, uh, say dot create and uh, other uh, items like that you can do that but in my case I'm not gonna write my query here and uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna open in a web UI that's more uh, um, I don't know it's, it's, uh, um, it has more features and uh, you can see more uh, details and all those kind of things so here uh, I'm going to close this guy so that's uh, our tech browser the ADX that's our uh, uh, um, Azure Data Explorer database is right there and now what we can do we can create a, a table and then just some data so I have query ready as I was telling you I'm already writing a, uh, some set of uh, queries for Costo so I'm working on that part and I'm going to paste it right there so first of all how you will create the database so you are going to say dot create table and the name of the table and this was just comments so i am going to put the double backslash here so it will become comments now it's more readable so create table and here is a table name and then you have parentheses any column name then you say colon and then the data type so in this case we have a id integer uh, sale person name string if you have uh, floating values uh, or uh, uh, you know real values uh, like a decimal you're gonna say real you have date date time and all that so we created this table now once the table is created that's how it is going to show you hey table is created and i can uh, click right there and see that the table is created uh, now i have see this uh, can see all these uh, 
columns and then I can see the data type of those columns. Now how you ingest the data? So I'm doing inline ingestion. That means I have this uh, dot ingest ingest inline into table table name and then this a uh, carrot sign uh, opposite or small uh, and then pipe sign once you put that and then you can provide the data in the same uh, um, sequence such as id sale person first name last name and all that is comma the limited though so it's very beautiful actually it didn't ask me uh, one comma is missing or all those kind of things uh, or double quotes and all it didn't ask me ball so it's very quick and easy so i go ahead and uh, execute now the data is inserted now uh, how you see the data so as you remember i was uh, talking uh, like i'm going to show you guys how to create a database so i did uh, and then how to create a table so i did uh, and then we loaded the data into it uh, now to see the data we what we are going to do we are going to simply type the name of the table uh, once you type the name of the table is going to show you something like this and uh, you can run uh, now that's how you will be seeing the data so it has a, like a select a star from table name so same exactly it is returning everything if you are interested to return very few records you can hit enter pipe sign take five so now it will return you like top top five records okay so now it's very uh, you can just select this part again and say where now if you don't want to say take five you can always say where um, region is equal to equal to double quotes and put the value so in my case I am going to just paste Europe here and double quotes around so I select the whole thing and now it is going to show me all the records from the Europe so this is how you will write your Kusto query so table and then you have uh, this pipe sign space and then uh, your uh, other uh, part of the query comes like where clause take five order by and all that okay so that's uh, it for uh, this uh, demo uh, what we are going to do here i'm going to create a yeah i will leave it here we will do some things in the data factory and i show you more in the data factory tutorial but uh, a complete kusto query tutorial will be coming soon so you can watch the entire thing in that how to do grouping how to delete how to insert how to you know uh, performing joining and everything in that uh, tutorial thank you very much for watching please uh, subscribe my channel and i will see you guys in the next video